all they can say your food like I'm lucky I have a dad like you to have all this nice food oh yeah man thank you bro I've never heard you say that before this guy say I'm lucky to have a dad like you to have all this nice food you're not lucky man you're blessed you know mm. Wagwan, Wagwan, what's great? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Chef John Morris, and as seen in the title, today we're making it hot. Not too hot to burn you up, you know, but hot enough to warm you up for this year winter season. We're making some Jamaican pepper pot soup. We know about sardines, mackerel, chicken neck. Chicken back, yeah. nothing a waste, nothing a dash way. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to all my supporters who have been supporting me over the duration of the Morristown Cooking family. I've been on YouTube since 2017 and you've shown nothing but love. You know what I say? So with that, I want to give you thanks for all the support, especially the year 2021. What better way to kickstart the new year and to kickstart the comeback or the return of Morris Time cooking with some hot pepper pot soup. So the first ingredient we need is some um, cured beef. You can call it salt beef. If you go into the grocery store, the Caribbean store, your local grocery store, you see it as cured beef or beef in brine, salted water, right? What I did was I cut these into small chunks for the purpose of this video and purpose of presentation. We want them to cook quicker than usual. So this, this is like stewing beef and it's cured. So we just wash off the excess salt and we cut them up into small pieces. So we have the cured beef and we also have some fresh beef bone. What I did was I popped those in my air fryer and because the grocery store, my local Caribbean store was a bit hectic over the week, what I had to do was get the big ones that they have. Didn't want to damage my knife by cutting through those big bones. So I had to just throw those in my air fryer. You can do this in your pot or your oven. Throw those in the air fryer just to render off a bit of that fat so that our soup is not too oily and to get a bit of flavor from that um, rendered fat as well as the bone marrow. In total, we're using about two pounds give and take with the bone, right? And second of the third main ingredients, we have the Kalaloo, the Jamaican Kalaloo, right? I have a video out on how to clean and prep up your Kalaloo. Have you ever had cream of broccoli for those who are not Caribbean? So imagine having cream of broccoli, but instead it's a Kalaloo. And instead of using heavy cream, we're using that coconut cream to give you that nice, creamy, rich, warm soup for the winter time. Yes? So we have the Kalaloo, about two cups of wash chopped and everything and thirdly you need love to make this possible you saw that coming love so we need some loving at the thing some loving at the pot and everything hot let me run it through the rest of the ingredients before i go any further so and then right here i have about half pound of yellow yam jamaican yellow yam and we have some cocoa and we're using that we cut them up squeeze a bit of lemon juice and that wash them so it don't oxidize become ugly and brown and we're just going to drain off the water when you're ready over here i have two medium irish potato this is optional what that will do is to help us to thicken that soup nicely over here now we have some fresh okra right and i already cut this is about five to six i have some dough made up for um the spinners if you need to learn how to make um, dumpling, like the Jamaican dumpling that goes into soup, it's real easy. It's just flour, cornmeal, a little bit of salt, and water, right? I have, I have a ton of soup videos out and a video dedicated for how to make the Jamaican um, dumpling. But to just give you a quick rundown, you can use a cup of flour, a quarter cup of cornmeal, with a pinch of salt to about half teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt and about i want to say four ounces of water room temperature and you just knead that into a nice dough this is what we have here for the um, dumplings we call them spinners because we spin them drop them in the pot the jamaican soup we have a medium carrot already cut those up we have here 
half cup of coconut milk we have some pimento berries about if you're gonna count you're gonna see about 15 to about a half tablespoon there about and we have about seven garlic cloves i didn't really count them and we'll just kind of wash them and crush them yeah over here now we have some beef soup mix right you can find this in your local caribbean store or the walmart in the international aisle we have beef soup mix what i did was to just strain those out because it comes with some little noodles i don't like that in my soup one it will get it too thick and two it just doesn't look good for presentation so we have that here already sifted and then right here we have some all-purpose seasoning whatever is your favorite all-purpose seasoning we have about two tablespoons we're not going to be using all of this because remember our beef is already salted right half teaspoon of black pepper two bouillon cubes if you call it bouillon bouillon whichever way you call it we have these are in the beef flavor and then we have scotch bonnet pepper you need scotch bonnet pepper more preferably the green ones the green ones are not too hot but more so on the flavor size flavor side that's what you need the green ones right and i have two right here and as it says pepper pot soup but we're not gonna go crazy with the pepper because we want you to be able to enjoy it and taste all the flavors right and then over here now we have some fresh thyme maris thyme you know the thing go so we have some fresh thyme, about um, three stalks there about, just wash it nicely and then I have one head or you can say two stalks of fresh green onions or you can call it scallions in the Caribbean, right? And we'll just rough chop those and that's pretty much it for the ingredients. Hope I didn't bombard you with too much information there. If you have to pause the video and go back to just check out what we was mentioned do so but now we're gonna get down to the cooking let's go hot hot water come through what is the panty all right Woo -wee. all right three and a half liters of water and it's already boiled right so just gonna add that stew beef in not stew beef sorry that salted beef so get that in Turn this on. For the salted beef or the cured beef, this one is not the Caribbean one. I got this at a um, regular grocery store. So it is not as heavily brined as our Caribbean one, right? So all I did was just wash it off in some water and soak it for about five minutes. If you get the Caribbean um, beef cut, salted beef, that one sometimes you need to wash off the excess salt and just call it for about five minutes. Once it comes to a boil, you just turn off the stove um, during that and then you're good to go right so i didn't do that i just wash the water off mine and just leave it in some cold water for about five minutes to soak up a little bit of the salt and then rinse it off again there you go as i said if you want to go ahead and to brown off your beef for excess flavor you can but it not, it's not necessarily a need when we're making soups you don't normally brown off our meat right so we have that meat going give us that flavor it's not too fatty it's very lean so your soup won't be oily right right in there now we're just gonna hit that with our garlic as well as our pimento berries and we're developing the flavor as we go along right off the jump and then now we're gonna go in with these bouillon cubes just bear in mind that beef is salted but we're using five liters of water all right get that going we're gonna go in it's half the amount of our fresh thyme build that flavor oh let me not forget we're gonna go in with our beef bone watch it splashing in on you yeah do no. you realize how let me show you how big and chunky these beef bones are when I say beef bone, it has meat on there, you know, but not too much. I just cut them up nicely. What I did was, I popped my air fryer at 400 degrees. It's the quickest way you can do it in your oven, as well as you can brown it in the pot to keep that flavor. But we're trying to avoid all that fat that got rendered from the, 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 the meat, right? So put that in the air fryer for about five to eight minutes, just to get them nice and brown, and to just render that fat get the flavor into the bone marrow and then now we're gonna get all of that in our soup so 
What we're gonna do at this point, just cover this up, allow this to cook for about an hour on medium. Let's see now what's happening here. Okay, We're looking good. Let's give that a taste. I can taste all of those herbs pushing through that um, bone marrow. It tastes all that flavor. Yeah, it tastes that beef, and the beef is getting. Slightly softer. Wash my hands real quick. Alright. So let's add our coconut milk. Pour that in. So rich. Get a little bit of water. Rinse out the excess. Stir that in. I wash these nice and clean, all the extra lime flavors already off these. We need a little bit more water in there, so that's why I keep this covered like that. It's gonna go right in with our yam and cocoa. Right in. And if you have boiling water, you could add it in here at this point. But because I have this, indu this induction um, cooked up, it boils real fast because I can just turn it to high and it goes right fast. Right. Hands already nice and washed. We're gonna go in now with our dough. Let's get a little bit of flour on my hands on the dough. Because it's been sitting for a while, it's somewhat a little bit sticky. Just pinch and rip a small piece, about the size of two marbles there about. You have that little ball and you're gonna roll it in the palm like this and you get that nice little um, spinners you know what I say? or we say spinners with a Z S-P-I-N-N-A-Z spinners and there we go just add those in because the water is boiling what would happen if you add these in um, when the water is not hot or boiling the dumplings will be um, slimy because they put it in cold water right Alyssa likes her dumplings big so I'm trying to go a bit big on these ones. All right, nice and good. Just gonna clean up. Okay, beautiful. We're gonna add in our kalaloo. You can use the canned kalaloo if you don't have the fresh ones. Two cups of nice fresh kalaloo, right? But because I didn't get enough from the grocery store, I'm also going to be adding in one can, which is about 500 grams of the, um, the canned one. And this one is somewhat cooked, so that's why we add this one in first to get it cooked to an extent, right? Just going to drop that in because we want that nice green color that we're looking for. The fresh ones give you that nice vibrant green. But the only thing is I just could not get my hands on that much color. Right? So in total, going it about a can and a half because when you check the fresh one, if you chop it up and then shrink it down, it's not even 200 grams to be honest. Right? Color from the can, it's a bit salty too because it's in brine liquid as well. So what you want to do, you want to wash that off, rinse it off a little bit after you drain it from that liquid. We have these seasonings here, the all-purpose as well as the beef seasoning, the, the beef soup mix that you can find in local Caribbean grocery store at Walmart um, International Isle. But we're going to season to taste because we don't want to get this too salty, right? This already have a nice little flavor from the salted beef as well as 
a little bit from the color loop. Gonna hit that now with this black pepper. Yeah, a little bit of black pepper with the beef soup mix. But we didn't touch it with the all purpose yet. Can't touch it with the all purpose yet. Because you don't want to salt this. If you weren't using salted beef, then probably, but if you don't need the all purpose, you don't need it. It's just there for backup, right? Which is about um, a tablespoon and a half, but we don't necessarily need it yet. We're gonna put that in after everything. Then we're gonna put the all purpose in after this gets thick, because when it gets a bit thicker, that's when you can tell the real flavor. So we're not gonna bombard this with no all purpose seasoning just yet. In with the Irish potato. As I said, at the last 20 minutes, when you have that meat nice and soft to an extent. Ooh, look at that. And go into the okra, or the okra. Drain off that water. All right, you see that? Don't know if you're seeing it, but I kept it in a little bit of lukewarm water to get out majority. You know, lukewarm water. Some of the slime came out. If you don't like slime, you can do that okra in. As I said, not too much. It's just the okra for me. All right, see, soup start getting thick already, you know. Scotch! Hot! All right, what I wash already, like to keep the stems on because sometimes I can just reach it, pull it out easily. What I want to do, squeeze one. Yeah? So that way we get that flavor out and leave one whole, right? All that flavor. Mm -hmm. And halfway through the cooking process, so about 10 minutes in, we're gonna check to taste to see if it's too spicy if you're serving to kids and then I can remove one of the pepper. Because many of the times these green ones is more so flavor, it's more so, sorry, it's more so flavor than spice for the green ones. Alright, alright. Come now. Hit that with the fresh thyme. With the green onion. Not now we see the head of seed. And last but not least, the carrots. Alright, and that carrot. I like my carrot, you know. Carrot gives you that nice color. You see the color grade in there now? Beautiful color the soup is all right this is the time when you want to lower the heat lower the heat go do the dishes you know me i say read a book or go watch my vlog channel while the soup cook you know me i say more style family so in total we've been cooking for over an hour and 15 minutes already the beef is on its way so i'm just gonna add a little bit of water Boom. So just bring everything right up. With all the provisions in, we have five liter of soup. We're just gonna allow that on medium low heat to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes to get everything nice and thick and that meat softens to perfection. So turn that down. After which we'll be back. Soup, soup, pressure, pressure, soup, soup, pressure, pressure, who and the pressure the pot, yeah? Who and the pressure the pot, yeah? You know the thing, we're a kid up, ooh! Ease out, ease out, ease out. Ready, we ready, and I'm gone, we're gone. Mmm, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down. Turn it down. Gala sent me out, I must be paper pot, clean and sweet, girl, it will be for that. When I stop that, but when I remember, I'm just gonna plate this up nice and, you know, easy. Got our ladle right here, let's go, let's go. And there you have it, pepper pot soup, right in time.
for the winter season. Something nice and warm. My mouth is salivating as I speak. It's been a hot minute. It was very fun making this video today because this is my first video in a long time. So I hope I did wow you and gave you something that you're like, okay, he's back and we're glad he's back. You know what I mean? I say? And the journey continues. You're going to be getting a lot more content. I cannot say thank you enough for the love that you've shown during my absence here on Morris Time Cooking. Thank you very much for all the love. I'm so humbled and just here, just reflecting on everything. I'm like, yo, I really love all my supporters. You know what I say? You reach out whenever time you see I am being posted anywhere. You always ensure to tag me. You always sending me those pictures with the Chinese recipes. You tell me how much your family love it during the Christmas. Eve. Like that means a lot. All wrapped up for you. Wrapped up. Mm -hmm. It's been a minute I haven't had pepper pot soup. Go and like up the video, man. Share it to your family, your friends, your sister, your mom, your aunt, your grandmother, your kids. Because I get to understand all age group watches more time cooking. See? Just so share it out to them. Let them know that I'm back. You see me? Share it out like that soup, yeah? Till the pot empty. No flow for the love. Until next time, see you travel on the gravel. And, and go and big up, up on no? You know the thing. Go! Go and taste bad soup or something. And this? It is me. You see? I'm no bad now, see. Come on, I'm a boss. Rope it. I can kind of see it now. Mm -hmm. Jump up on my table. I'm um, here. You want to get tired of that, Daddy? Mm -hmm. I will. You will soon, but don't rush the process. I'm not rushing the process. I'm just trying to make the camera see me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So say hi now. Hi, everybody. I haven't seen you for a while. So it's a look kind of wild back in school, you know? Right? Yeah, but it's not school. It's all You haven't gone. seen Jamir in so long. He he has been featured on this channel quite a few times before. When he was like two, three years old. Where you want to go show your arts and craft? Mm -hmm. Oh, we might want to take over the channel. Back up a little bit. Too much, too much, too close, too close. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Alright, so that's Jamir's mm -hmm. snowman. Oh yeah, this is Jamir. You've met him before. He goes wild on the family channel, Morris Time family. So check out the thing there, man. Thank you very much, though. We're signing off because right now, you had a need to go to something. You want to taste this? You want to taste this? Tell me if you like it. You never had this before, you know. Come on, man. Nobody out that. Nobody out that. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Come on. We're not doing that part. Now, why am I not going to keep the kitchen? Mmm, looks good. Come, taste it. Taste it. Blow it. Blow it. Blow it. Blow it. Don't blow the whole ice soup out of this spoon, my Jay. Take your time, man. Come. You gotta try it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's hot. Hey, hot. It's hot no. and spicy. Mm -mm. Stand up, my man. Mmm. -mm. It tastes so good. So good. You want more? You ever eat okra before you know if you do you, you must not eat okra like that you know girl. It's kinda of spicy, yeah. Little bit? Like, yeah, a little. Not that spicy. Come on. Yeah, it's not girl. spicy. It's but it's a little. Come, 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 come. You want pee? So you have prance around the kitchen like that. Come on, man. Try to come on. Here. So good. Oh me give her on dumpling. Try it out. Mmm. It tastes like ice and normal soup. Tastes like a normal soup. Mm. Mm. But I like the chicken to it. It's not chicken. <laughs> but I like chicken. It's beef. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, man. That tastes like chicken. That's why I thought it. It's that cause everything chicken. Kia, me and father. Come. No. Only brown. <laughs> Only brown stuff will look like it. Stop blowing out the soup from the spoon, my guy. You want pee, I'm convinced. Go on the bathroom. Go on the bathroom. Go, on the bathroom. Go, on the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Go. Right. Okay, fine. He wants to pee, I know. Say bye. Say bye. You're bye. jumping like a jack frog. Go on where you sit. Go. Big up. No flow. Subscribe. Hit like, comment, and share. Here. No flow.